Hi everyone, Kleena here. Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be taking you through the solution to question 3 from this junior cert higher level paper and this question is based on coordinate geometry. So let's get right into it. We're told that the coordinate diagram shows a part of the N22 road in Cork. Two points in the road P and Q are marked in the diagram and we can see them here P and Q. So question A tells us that the point Q has the coordinates 6, 2, and we're asked to write down the coordinates of P. So what's the X value for P? We can see that the X value, if we go down here, is minus 1. And what's the Y value for P? Straight across here is 3. So the point P is minus 1, 3. So let's move on to the next question. We're told that the equation of PQ is x plus 7y is equal to 20. We're told using this or otherwise find the coordinates of the point where pq crosses the y axis. So when you're given the equation of a line, which we are in this case, to find where it crosses the y axis you let x equal 0 and if you're asked to find where it crosses the x axis you'd let y equal 0. So let me just write down the equation of the line. So that is x plus 7y is equal to 20. So y-axis, let x equal to 0, okay? So that's just a rule that you should be aware of for these kind of questions where it asks you where does it cross, the x-axis or the y-axis? So now we have 0 plus 7y is equal to 20. 7y is equal to 20. So I'm going to bring the 7 across, so y is equal to 20 divided by 7. So the x coordinate is going to be 0 and the y coordinate is 20 divided by 7. And just in the graph to show you why the x coordinate is 0, it's going to cross the y axis. So it's going to be somewhere here. Okay? So this is going to have to be 0. So 0, 20 over 7. So now question C tells us that a new road is being built through the point Q, which is 6, 2. On the coordinate diagram, it will be a straight line segment, which is perpendicular to PQ. So we know the equation for PQ, and we know that this new road, or this new line, is going to be perpendicular to it. We're asked to find out the equation of this new road. So let's find the equation of the old road, which is just up here, and that was x plus 7y is equal to 20. So it's just here. So I'm going to bring that down. So PQ was x plus 7y is equal to 20. So we know that if two lines are perpendicular to each other, their slopes must equal to minus 1 when multiplied by together. Let's find the slope for this equation first of all. So the slope of this equation, we're going to write it as y is equal to mx plus c, where m is the slope. So let's leave 7y on the left hand side is equal to minus 1x, because I'm bringing that across and changing its sign, plus 20. So y is equal to minus 1 over 7x plus 20. So the slope of new line is going to equal to 7, because 7 multiplied by minus 1 over 7 sorry, that's a bit of a dodgy 7 there, is equal to minus 1. Okay, so that's our new slope. And the point, so the point of the new road is 6, 2. So to find the equation of a line, they're the two things we need. We need the slope of the line, and we need a point on the line. So then we're going to use our equation. So this equation can be found in the log tables, and I'll just show you there. So here on page 18 of the log tables, you can find the equation for, or the formula for the equation of a line. So the equation of PQ is equal to Y minus Y1 is equal to MX minus X1. So I'm just going to write that out. So Y minus Y1 is equal to MX minus X1. So let's label the point. So I'm going to label that x1, y1, and this here, the slope, is m. So now let's find the equation. So y minus 2 is equal to 7x 
minus 6. So then let's fill it out like this is equal to 7x, multiply this in, minus 42. And I want it in the form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. So 7x minus 1y, because we're bringing this across and changing its sign. And then we have minus 42 plus 2, so that's going to be minus 40 is equal to 0. So this is the equation of the new line. And for getting this equation, you're going to get a total of 5 marks. Now let's move on to the last part of this question, question D. So in question D, we're told that the distance PQ on the diagram is 7.1 centimetres, correct to one decimal place. And we're told 5 millimetres on the diagram represents 100 metres. And we're asked to use this to work out the actual distance from P to Q and to give our answers in kilometres. So the first thing I'm going to do is work out how many 5 millimetres are there in 7.1 centimetres. So 5 millimetres is equal to 0 0.5 centimetres. So let's find out how many 0 0.5 centimetres there are in 7.1 centimetres. So I'm going to go 7.1 divided by 0 0.5. So that will give us 14.2. So there's 14.2 0 0.5 centimetres in PQ. Okay, so if there's 14.2 0 0.5 centimeters, that means that in real life there's 14.2 100 meters because 5 millimeters represents 100 meters. So we're going to multiply 14.2 by 100, okay, and that will give us 1420 meters, okay, so we're multiplying by 100 meters. But it asks us to give our answer in kilometers, so make sure you don't miss this part of the question. So to convert from meters into kilometers, we divide it by a thousand. So it's going to be 1.420 kilometers. So that's our final answer. And for this question, you are going to get a total of five marks. So this is all for this question, guys. I hope that you found this video helpful. I'll see you all in the next video.